Qsios 4G internet service is the Gambia's fastest and cheapest 4G fixed wireless internet. With Qsios 4G, you can access the internet at unbeatable speeds on your laptop or desktop computer. You can also use your mobile or tablet to browse the internet via Wi-Fi. Qsios 4G internet can keep you connected either in your home or in your office. For a limited time, get 50% off regular equipment and 100% off corporate equipment, as well as free installation and free QSL credit. For more information, call 333-3253 or 333-3104. QSL 4G internet, fast, affordable and reliable. QSL, Sunny Bus, the Gambia's quality network. Alu Priska is a girl with a common but uncommon quest in life. The young girl from Côte d'Ivoire, like the average teenager, seeks to make a success of her life, but she seeks to attain this in an uncommon way. Priska has chosen to be an automobile mechanic, a profession that is male-dominated in this part of the world for reasons ranging from culture to convention. She is unfazed and has chosen to pursue her dream to a small town in Burkina Faso, known as Zinyari. I was a mechanic and I was uh, training in a, a workshop before coming here. Priska is not alone. Mbaya Ahiel is an indigenous of Biu in Bornu state of Nigeria. He is a university graduate, but without any job forthcoming, chose to fend for himself through vocational skills. He found a support role in the automobile service industry. Mbaya is engaged as an apprentice, learning how to fix faulty car air conditioners. He desires to own his own workshop. I set up my own company, uh, employ many people who will work, and then they will learn, I will teach them too how to do it, so that they will be safe land in the near future. Ahiel came to Zinyari in pursuit of his dreams. Across the broad spectrum of West Africa, many young people like Priska and Ahiel are chasing their dreams with mixed success. The absence of any formal support structure has often worked against them. In Zinyari, they are finding a reason to have some hope and some support for their occupational ambitions. Zinyari is a small town in Obritenga province of Burkina Faso, about 37 kilometers from the capital, Ouagadougou. It is a typical small African settlement, simple, pristine with ordinary folks. Yet, in this rustic surroundings, is a project that can launch not just this community, or the country into a more modern civilization. The referral training center, Zinyari, 
was established in 2011 by the government of Burkina Faso with help from the Chinese government. It is a center equipped with all the technology needed to impart knowledge in science and technology. For the last two years, this center has been pivotal to the aspiration of West Africa to build a crop of young and skilled artisans that will provide critical vocational services. In most countries in the region, and in fact across the world, there is a dearth of such skilled workmen. The possession of vocational skills is, therefore, a fair guarantee that you can earn a living. It is one of the most productive routes to self-employment. For the many unemployed people, especially the young, all over West Africa, this can be a lifeline. Every year, the West African Regional Body, ECOWAS, throws this lifeline to selected youths from member states. We have to uh, strengthen vocational training for that category of young men and young women and to build the capacity in areas that will enable them after a short training, a short session, they can master a job or perfect it and they can go back, either be employed by somebody who already has an entity or self-employed, mm -hmm. go back and decide uh, uh, to start something small and then grow with it. They are sent to the Zinieri Center for a one-month practical training in their chosen vocation. Priska and Mbaya are two out of 66 youths from the 15 ECOWAS member states brought here in 2013. Apart from a few exceptions, their background is much the same. Unemployed, short on skills, but not short on enthusiasm, they are anxious to find a life for themselves and their country. They are the second set to be brought to Zinyari. Provision is usually made for at least six trainees from each ECOWAS member state. Relevant ministries in the countries handle the selection process based on stated criteria. Sometimes this procedure does not work well as deficient candidates are sent. However, ECOWAS tries to insist that only those that can benefit from the training get sent by member states. This is because the training module builds on the basic skills the trainees already have. They must also have had some experience in the fields in which they are going to receive uh, training. In this particular instance, they must have had some experience in the field of air conditioning and refrigeration and uh, auto mechanic. They, they can be fresh. And they must have a background knowledge because it is indeed a capacity building program. It is not intended to equip them from scratch. The Zinyari Center is equipped for training in several vocations, but the 2013 set of trainees had two specific options, auto mechanic or refrigeration and air conditioning. This was informed by studies conducted by the ECOWAS Youth and Sports Center, Ouagadougou, which oversees the program. It indicated that there is a great demand for people with these skills in the region. Technology is, however, changing the way these vocations are practiced in more advanced societies, but in several communities in West Africa, this technology is not easily accessible. ECOWAS is bridging the divide by bringing the youths here. The referral center, Zinyari, has well-equipped workshops and other complementary teaching facilities, as well as hostels for students. Since it is located well away from the distractions of the city life, the center is just suitable for concentrated learning. This has made the collaboration between ECOWAS and the center a productive one for the region's youths. We have very good collaboration with them. This is a level of the collaboration, you see. Uh, and secondly, we get information from the government. They get information from us like the other countries also. So uh, we, when we organize activities, we invite them. We are working with the ministry in charge of the youth.